I would do a curly hair video when my hair isn't even looking that great. Of course. So typical. Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a sit down talking kind of video, talking about a lot of the things that have really helped my hair lately. First of all, my hair's not even looking that great today, and honestly, the weather's just been a bit crazy in the UK, and my hair's just freaking out. So, yeah, it's been generally a lot better lately, but it's still not perfect. My routine isn't perfect, hence why I am not doing a routine just yet. I'm actually going to wait until I have a more solid routine. I'm still trying a lot of stuff out. My hair is definitely not where I want it to be, so don't look at my before or after pictures or even my hair right now and think... Oh, my hair's like not even that great. I know my hair is not that great. I just have come such a long way and that's why I wanted to talk about some things that have changed and some things that I've been doing because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. I've been getting a lot of requests to do an updated tutorial or routine of what I've been doing on my hair. But honestly, there isn't really one at the moment because I'm kind of in the phase where I'm just like testing a bunch of stuff. My hair's just improved so much that I really wanted to do a video about it and just tell you guys at the moment some of the things that really changed the game for me personally. So that's what this video is I will be doing a routine soon but just when I have more of a solid routine and after I've tried out a few things um so that should be coming in I don't know when but hopefully soon so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it and on my post notifications and also follow me on Instagram because I post pictures there this video is going to be more suited for you if you have some level of of texture in your hair it's not going to work for people with pin straight hair it's going to work for people that have wavy textures all the way up to curly so even if you have waves i still think that these kind of methods could help to define and make your waves more noticeable so the first massive tip is to find out what curl type you actually have now i used to hear this all the time like curl types and i used to think does it really matter that much and honestly i can say now yes it really really does most of the curls in my hair are a 3a type curl if you're wondering why i am saying these letters and numbers and you're just like what is she talking about? There's basically a scale. Type 2 hair is more of waves and loose, loose, loose curls. Then we've got the 3 curls, which is the spectrum that I'm in. We've got 3A, which is like the loosest type of spiral. And then we've got 3B and 3C, where it gets more corkscrew and more tight curls, which I think I've like found a few of those in my hair, but it's 3A for the most part. And then we've got type 4, which would be more very, very, very tight coils. Um, and there's different types within that spectrum as well. So there's basically numbers and then there's letters to differentiate within that spectrum, if that makes sense. So this may seem like it's not that important because you may think it just works on a visual basis, but it actually is really important for when you pick your products. Just because, I don't know, I've tried a lot of products and for me they've been too heavy for my hair, so they probably would have been suited for more of a like tighter curl or even coiled type hair and I just thought that it would work for me because it said for curly hair on the packaging. So honestly, just when you're doing your research online, even looking at influencers or YouTubers or just YouTube tutorials of curls, it's actually really useful to know your curl type so you can find influencers that have similar hair to you and that way when they recommend products, you can actually think, oh, this is more likely to work for me rather than someone that has a completely different curl type and hair texture to you and then you're trying to make it work. So I just understand so much more about what products will and won't work for me and I just waste a lot less money on products trying it and then it just completely not working. So that's definitely something that's important if you haven't done so already. This may seem obvious if you're into curly hair but if you're just kind of getting into it and you're unsure about what your curl type is. A lot of sources you could go to, there's like videos and different articles and stuff to find out what curl type you have. To have a better understanding from there what kind of products will be best for you. I found two influencers that I honestly love. I do follow more than that but these are just like my favourite two. The first one is Kelly and she is just, okay first of all she's so beautiful but she just does really great videos so I'm gonna link her channel down below please go show her some love because honestly her hair videos have helped me so much she's in the US so some products that she mentions I can't get hold of or I have to like order them and it's like trying to smuggle it to this country so it's really hard um, and then also there is Hi Felicia on Instagram she's really well known on there and she just does the best tips both have different curl types I think Kelly has 3A and then I think um, Hi Felicia has like 3B, so um, a little bit different, but I feel like most of the products that they both recommend, usually they are likely to work for my hair type. Honestly, something that has helped me immensely, and it may seem obvious if you 
understand about hair. I'm down a fair bit on the amount of color I put on my hair and also trying to cut down on the amount of heat I put on my hair has really helped my curls to become more defined and just a lot less damaged. About a year and a half ago I went pretty much completely blonde and I'll show you guys some pictures of my hair trying to go curly. I don't know if you compare it to the pictures now from my curls I'm obviously nowhere near where I would want to be but the difference in a year and a half is crazy. It's like I can't do both. It's like I either have shorter more damaged blonde hair or I have healthier brunette hair with highlights. I don't like my hair completely without any colour personally, that's just because I have very 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 dark roots. Um, so highlights just kind of gives me that golden touch. At the moment I only have like one set of highlights but if I ever want to get any more put in it's best to apply colour gently and more gradually. So something like highlights is going to be a lot less damaging than just putting color over your whole head of hair basically so just trying to cut down on the amount i apply heat i still do like to style my hair just because i really like to switch things up especially for the sake of social media and just youtube and all of that it's nice to switch things up but i've tried to cut down a lot more and now curly is my most common hairstyle whereas beforehand it actually used to be the opposite i used to have my hair straight more and then curly would be more of an occasional thing something that's helped a lot as well has been going almost curly girl method. Basically, it's kind of a well-known method that girls do if they want to go completely curly. Basically, people like to cut down on shampooing just because that can be quite sh damaging to the hair if you do it too much and you kind of like strip the hair of its natural oils. And also people like to cut out certain ingredients from the styling products and uh, shampoos and conditioners that they are using. So for me, when I say almost, I would say that most of the products that I use now are Curly Girl approved products. So they are free of a lot of silicones and sulfates, parabens and certain types of drying alcohol. I kind of slowly cut down and the more that I did that I noticed a massive difference. At first when I started trying out new products I would kind of try it and then I would be like well this doesn't work. But then I would try the products in a different order and I would find that it helped a lot and that's something that I would definitely recommend to you guys if you are experimenting with doing different methods for your curly hair. Basically, there's some of my own rules I used to have that now are completely broken so I kind of just like to experiment a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't work like I guess this last wash day it didn't curl up as much and it wasn't as voluminous as I would have liked it to have been. So yeah honestly like switching around the orders and just figuring out what's the best for my hair personally because honestly everyone is different and it's just really good to experiment. Something that has completely changed the game for me when it comes to the definition of my curls has been applying products to my hair when it's pretty much completely wet like not dripping to the point where it's like everywhere but when my hair is quite wet and I don't actually put my hair in a towel at all anymore I just squeeze out some of the water just so it's not like dripping anymore and then I'll apply my products to completely wet hair that has like changed the game for me it makes my hair so much more defined I used to have my hair in a towel for a little bit and honestly I think that was like really affecting the definition in my hair so now since I've stopped doing that it has been a game changer. Something else that's been a lot more recent has been figuring out the protein and moisture balance in my hair. Now if this sounds all new to you I'm going to leave a video down below that's going to help you to understand this a little bit more. The curls need moisture of course to curl it just it needs moisture. Most people know this but then the protein side of things a lot of people actually don't think it through that much and they don't think that their hair needs protein. Like I said, I've kind of just learned about this and I'm still trying to figure out the good balance between my hair and products that are rich in moisture and products that are rich in protein and just the kind of products that I feel like I can use together to create the best effect on my hair. That's kind of what I've been figuring out. You want to understand like what protein and moisture, the difference between it, what your hair will look like if it has too much of one. I'll leave that video down below because it just explains it so well. A lot of curly girls either don't shampoo their hair or they don't shampoo their hair very often. If they do shampoo their hair, they probably won't be using one that will strip the hair just because they want their hair to remain and hold the moisture as much as possible. So basically it's recommended for you to cleanse your hair properly about once a month just because your hair does build up a lot of these thick moisturizing products that's kind of just like sitting on the strands of the hair. I'll go in with a much more intense shampoo about once a month. The one I like to use is from Bumble and Bumble and it's like a deep cleansing one and this would be way too harsh to use on your hair every single week but you want to use it once every now and again and basically it just gets rid of all of the build up of product that may be on your hair that may be your normal shampoo or if you don't use shampoo 
just your washes generally aren't getting rid of. Honestly guys, the last thing I would say is just trial and error has honestly been my friend. If you are on your curly hair journey, I would just say just keep persevering. I'm to the point where I'm like, my hair is very, very long and I've always had my hair cut for when my hair's straight, but lately I've been wearing my hair curly more. So I'm thinking of maybe getting it cut probably nothing too crazy i mean i want to get it cut just so that i have more volume in my hair because at the moment it all just being one length isn't really doing any favors for my hair i feel like it just doesn't sit the way that i want it to sit so yeah that's kind of where i'm at, at the moment i'm trying different products the perseverance of it has really helped my curls to improve and i know that it's just going to keep getting better and i'm hoping to become even more like into my curly hair because i never used to embrace it and it's really nice to be in a place where i'm embracing it more and you guys want me to embrace it more and i can share this kind of information um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget i am not a curly hair expert i'm just on my own journey and i thought i would share the things that have been helping me and that can maybe help you at the moment we'll be doing an updated routine soon just once i know a little bit more of what i've been doing because i've been testing so many things i just feel like I gotta figure it out, you know? Anyway, I feel like I've been talking about curly hair literally forever, so I will catch you guys.